Well, you know, the best thing that happens at Purple Hill any given time is when this man here shows up. I, I can honestly say that I don't really believe there's a better voice in country music in Canada today. Canada Amen. Amen. today than Hector Sturgeon. The first time, and I'll tell the story because I haven't told it before here, first time I uh, heard Hector singing, I knew that voice was really special. Uh, a fellow by the name of Don Marks from down the East Coast and I were traveling together and we went back through the reserve and we dropped into this building and there was a guy in there and he was giving away pop. We were wanting to buy some pop and something to eat, a hot dog. And he had it all there, but he was giving it away. He was a race car driver and he was giving it out as an appreciation for his fans. And I see his truck door wide open, the music was blaring and all of a sudden this guy started singing. And I said to him, who's that singing? He said, well, that's, uh, that's Hector Sturgeon, like everybody should know. <laughs> and I had never heard of Hector. And I said, my God, where's it, where's it coming from? And he, that was a radio station. I didn't even know we were at the radio station, but he said, right inside there, just off the porch. And so a big fella came out, Chief Noel Abrams. And uh, this Don Marks says, uh, are you Hector Sturgeon? No, he says, I'm not Hector Sturgeon. He says, I just uh, run the station here sometime. But he said, if you ever hear Hector Sturgeon, you'll know him. And I said, I sure will, because that was him right there. So he took me in and we had an interview. And he talked all about it. And by the time we came outside, there was eight people there waiting to talk to us. So it was quite, quite an experience. But Hector, we certainly enjoy your music and you just do such a great job. Jimmy Gonder over here on keys, he's always at our place uh, in the Canadian Country Show Band. And he'll be helping back Hector on the 12th of November. The 12th of November, we also got the king of the banjo there. That's uh, Darren Parise and his wife, Anita is also one of the greatest bluegrass singers there ever was. Down to the River to Pray and all those great bluegrass songs and country songs. She Mike, sings medleys. Next weekend we're in uh, Mount Bridges. Yes, and I was just coming to that. Next weekend we're in uh, Mount Bridges. If you want to come across to Mount Bridges, there's a beef barbecue there on the 21st. And the barbecue starts at 6 o'clock. And they said we we're going to start the music at 7, but I hardly doubt we'll be started that soon. But 7.30 for sure. And it's a full-blown dance. And the uh, Canadian Country Show Band, that's our band, six-piece band, is going to be there. And uh, we just love, you're not very far from home, Hector's going to be there and a gal by the name of Shelly Raston. Is Shelly Raston any good? Pair of our biggest fans right down here. Santa, you'll probably be there. You hope to be. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Hector, don't forget to sing Bear Tracks here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've been asked that a couple times to sing that one. Never heard it before. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can do it. High on a mountain, tell me what you Bear tracks, bear tracks, looking back at me. Better get your rifle before it's too late. Bear's got a big pig and he's headed for the game. Well, he's big around the middle and he's brought across the run. Running 90 miles an hour, taking 30 feet of jump. He never been caught here. 
anxious to listen to the scale. He's big around the middle and he's brought across the room. Running 90 miles an hour, digging 30 feet in jump. He never been caught, he never been treated. Some folks say he looks a lot. I'll tell you about that story, about that song. Uh, me and my uh, friend who's passed on now, Dennis Thomas, some of you know him. Uh, we used to be in a band together called uh, The Unknowns. That was the first band that ever, ever joined. My dad played in the band. Anyway, him and I were the last of The Unknowns. And uh, we recorded a CD and we needed songs to fill on it. So we put that song on there just because we thought it was a fun party song. They played it across the river, and it was one of the most requested songs that, <laughs> for, for, you remember that? It was one of the most requested songs, so uh, it turned out to be a good filler song, so I was pretty proud of that. And now I can't go anywhere without having to play it.